Hi there, Capricorns. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. I'm looking at February 20 through February 26. And this is a week that has a lot of action packed planetary activity. It's almost like Donald Trump's first month in the White House. Every day there were initiatives and acts and uh, treason and impeachment and you know it's been a very exciting time and this is the sort of week we're looking at so one can only wonder what's going to happen this week in the White House. Now a hazardous new moon solar eclipse in Pisces and two difficult challenges from Mars the dominator really lead the field in the celestial skies this week. Starting off on Wednesday February 22nd when Mars squares the Moon, Pluto, Mar the Moon, Mars squares Moon and Pluto. Mars and Pluto, which of course is in your sign, only square off every two years. And when they do, it happens twice. So it's happening this week in November 19. And it's very significant. The energy of this Mars and Moon Pluto clash increases the possible use of military force and can also mean uh, you know intense and rather strange weather conditions. Unfortunately the threat level rises even higher on Sunday February 26 with the intense energies generated by the Pisces new moon solar eclipse and that's going to be happening in your third house of communication, siblings, neighbors, short trips how you communicate with people in your family, people that you live next door to. And maybe it's time for you to take a trip and go see a sibling that you haven't seen in a while and set things right. Interestingly enough, Mercury, the communicator, is moving into Pisces later this week, which is a very difficult uh, placement for Mercury. Mercury, of course, is happiest in Gemini and Virgo, where, you know, he can talk the talk and you know make things clear and set plans. Pisces has a very vague energy and Mercury has a bit of, of a difficult time in Pisces like Venus is having a very difficult time in Aries struggling. So it's always interesting to find out where planets are happiest. For you Mars, Mars the planet of energy and stamina and just do it is happiest in your sign. So even though it rules Aries. So it's really interesting, as I said. So you're going to have really good planetary play in your third house. It's also your third house of learning. So if you've always wanted to read a book or go see a foreign film or take a little class online, this is the time to do so, Capricorns. So that's what's happening this week. It's a full-on week and it's an exciting week. And I hope you enjoy it and I'll speak to you again next week.